Hello, my name is Mr Kagan and I'm the Lead Teacher of Engineering at Furnace Academy. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Cambridge National Level 1 slash 2 in Engineering Design. Why choose Cambridge National Certificate in Design Engineering? The Cambridge National Engineering Qualification provides an engaging, robust, broad-based introduction to engineering. The course compromises of a range of specialist units that underpin the knowledge and skills that are valued in the engineering sector. They reflect the breadth of opportunity to enable further exploration of specific areas of interest. English and mathematics have been contextualised within the assessment aims. This allows learners to practice these essential skills in the naturally occurring and meaningful context where appropriate. Whilst developing these courses, the exam board, the OCR, have listened to and worked closely with employers such as JCB, Siemens, Rolls-Royce and other professional bodies like the Royal Academy of Engineering to make sure that the next generation of young engineers are equipped with the skills demanded by employers in the engineering community. We feel that the results of this collaboration will be the benefit to our learners, especially considering the amount of engineering firms in this area. The Cambridge National in Engineering Design is aimed at learners who wish to study the processes involved in designing and making new engineered products. Learners are provided with the knowledge and skills required to safely use engineering tools and equipment used to manufacture products from the requirements of the design specification. Students will also learn and use relevant computer applications such as CAD CAM and testing equipment. They will need to develop their understanding of the process and systems required to transfer the design concept into a product. A practical approach to teaching and learning will help provide learners with knowledge in engineering and technology, developing communication, critical thinking, creativity and dexterous skills through engaging practical experiences. What will you be studying? This qualification requires pupils to complete four units of work comprising of an exam and three units of coursework, all worth 25% of the overall mark. R105 which looks at design briefs, design specifications and user requirements. This is the written paper, the OCR set and mark. Students explore the requirements of design briefs and the specification for the development of new products and how consumer requirements and the market opportunities inform these briefs. They develop their understanding of the design cycle, the requirements of a design brief and design specification and the importance of research data in developing design solutions. R106, product analysis and research. This is a centre assessed task. Students find out how to perform effective product analysis through both research and practical experiences of product assembly and disassembly procedures. This helps them develop skills in critical analysis and an understanding and appreciation of manufacturing processes, design features, materials used and the principles behind good design. R107, developing and presenting engineering designs. This is a centre assessed task. Students develop their knowledge and skills in communicating 2D and 3D design ideas, including effective annotation and labelling. They use detailed hand rendering as well as computer-based presentation techniques and computer-aided design software. R108, 3D design realisation. This is a centre assessed task. Students produce a model prototype and test design ideas in a practical context. They evaluate the prototype against the product specification and consider potential improvements to features, function, materials, aesthetics and ergonomics in the final product. How will you be assessed and what will you learn? As I said in a previous slide, the engineering design course is evenly split over four units. Each unit is worth 25%. Here is a breakdown of the four units. R105 is the examination unit. 
You will study this and sit an exam in the first part of year 11. We will study for around 10 to 12 weeks the core content for this exam before you sit it in the January of year 11. This benefits you as if you do not get the desired grade for your exam, you can resit it in the summer. However, if you do get the desired grade, it's one less exam for you to sit in the summer exam season. R106 will be the first unit that we cover in year 10. R106 is a product analysis and research unit where we will study three drill powered water pumps. We will take these to bits in the product disassembly and find out what the components are inside. We will study how each component is made and what are the manufacturing processes required to um, create these products. We will also test these products against each other to find out which we find is the best. This will be a piece of coursework that is typed up. You will have 10 to 12 hours to complete this unit. R107 and R108 are the two remaining units that we will need to complete for this course. R107, Developing and Presenting Engineering Designs, is a designing unit. This is worth 60 marks and we'll spend around 30 hours le learning how to hand draw and use 3D CAD software such as SOLIDWORKS. You'll have 10 to 12 hours then to complete the remaining part of this unit. R108 is 3D Design Realisation, which is a practical unit. This will be completed in the second part of year 11. Again, you'll have 30 hours to, um, in lessons to study this, and then you'll have 10 to 12 hours for your assessment. For this, you'll be required to make a speaker. Next steps and post 16 options. This course ties in perfectly for those pupils who wish to gain apprenticeships in the design and engineering field, and those who wish to go on to study A-levels in design technology, physics, maths and art. This course is also great for students going on to study engineering or construction courses at college. For more information on this course, please email me, Mr Kagan, on the email below. You can also find out more information on the course content on the OCR's website. See link below.